Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'll be showcasing the plugin titled Brewery, created by Snowstorm, which is a plugin that adds a brewing process to your server to create a wide range of drinks with different properties. This plugin is compatible with Minecraft servers 1.7 and above. So as you guys can see here, behind me we have a wide range of drinks and these all range from like pumpkin wheat beer to old Tom Gin, blazing whiskey, potato soup, wheat beer, creamy latte, absinthe, and tequila. So these are our drinks that come with the plugin or you can add your own. So the first structure that we're going to show is the barrel. Now the barrel is used to age um, different types of alcohol. So here we can go ahead and place in our multi-block structure here. It's just going to require four stairs of a specific type of wood. I should also mention that whatever type of wood that you use to create the barrel will have its own different properties as well. For instance, some types of alcohol require a certain type of wood barrel to use. So lastly, once we set up the structure, we're just going to place a sign in the bottom right corner and we're just going to call it barrel. And as you guys can see, a barrel has been created. We can now right click and we can add in drinks to the barrel. There's also a large barrel, which is just a similar multi-block structure, just on a wider scale. Still got the barrel uh, sign, and as you guys can see, it has three rows of information. Next up, we have the cauldron, which is just going to be a heat source, followed by a Minecraft cauldron, and a water bucket. Now, what a cauldron does, is it actually ferments alcohol for you. All right, now we can go ahead and get started with our first drink. So we can go ahead and check out our recipe book. Here we have a recipe for apple liquor. It's just gonna require 12 apples with a cooking time of 16 minutes, three distill runs. We're going to age it in a acacia barrel for six years, and each year is going to be one Minecraft day and it has an alcohol percentage of 14%. So we can actually go ahead and put 12 apples into the cauldron. And if we right click it with a clock, it'll tell you how long you've been boiling. If you're under two minutes, it'll just tell you the cauldron has just started boiling. But anything two minutes and over, it'll let you know how long it's been boiling. Um, we actually already have some apple must already prepared. This is after 16 minutes. So we can go ahead and take our apple must, and then we can go ahead and distill it. To create a distillery, it's very easy. You're just going to need a brewing stand, and right click with it, and you're gonna put a glowstone dust at the top. This glowstone dust never goes away. And what determines one distillery run is when the arrow here just goes down all the way. Additionally, for this specific recipe, once three distillery runs are done, it will just stop. So we can actually check the distillery next to us. And as you guys can see, we have apple liquor. It's been fermented for 16 minutes and three times distilled. So we can go ahead and take that. Now we're gonna go over to our Acacia barrel, right click with that, and we're going to store it there for the amount of time required. But we actually have already done that as well. So as you guys can see, we have good apple liquor here. It has a five star rating, which means we didn't do anything wrong or mess it up. It's three times distilled and six years barrel aged. So we can go ahead and take out all of these ones. We also have um, what is known as a brew ceiling table. So we're gonna need um, oak planks and glass bottles for that. You're just going to take um, both of these and follow the recipe, crafting recipe as shown here. So just four planks, two glass bottles, and we have a brew ceiling table. What this does is it pretty much just allows users on your server to sell their different types of alcoholic drinks. We can just throw in a drink and it immediately gets popped out. And as you guys can see, it's already been done. It's a very simple and easy process to use the brew ceiling table. If you were to go ahead and drink one of these, we can just go ahead and drink it like we would for a normal drink. And as you guys can see, we got some effects very suddenly. If we do slash brewery info, 
We are now 18% drunk because we drunk 14% um, alcohol twice with a quality of 10. If we were to say something in chat, um, as you guys can see, it added a, another exclamation mark. That's all configurable within the config. Additionally, when you are drunk, there are actually ways to sober up as well. So we can go ahead and set our own brewery level by doing slash brewery Eric barbed wire. Um, you can go set it to a pretty high number like 90%. And then you can indicate the quality of it. So we are now 90% drunk with a quality of 10. We're not even moving right now. That's actually our character moving on his own. We can do something like, hey, everybody, I'm drunk. Something like that. And as you guys can see, our entire um, chat message is just destroyed, you know, just entirely unusable. We can do slash brewery info again. Just being online uh, generally lowers it down a little bit. If we were to go ahead and drink a milk bucket, it knocks out 2% each time. If we were to use a bread, it would knock it down 4%. So if we do slash brewery info again, we are 6% uh, more sober and we just ate two breads. And as you guys can see, we're a lot less drunk already. Still quite a bit though. I mean, this is definitely something out of a movie, but you know, this is just for illustrative purposes. Now I'm going to show you guys how to actually create your own drinks using the plugin. So in order to set up your own brewing recipes, you're going to click on the brewery folder. Next, you're going to edit your config.yml. So at the top of your config file, everything here is pretty much related to customizing the plugin such as enable wake, enable puke, puke item which is currently set to soul sand. You can even configure, you know, how much does bread and milk sober you up, stuff like that. The first step in creating a brewing recipe, this is not required, but is setting your custom items. So for instance, we have blue flowers here and they're set to match any. So the custom item name is blue flowers and the materials that will satisfy that need are corn flour or blue orchid. You can add in any other material name. And for any recipe that calls for blue flowers, those materials will satisfy that condition. The next step in creating a drink is choosing the ingredients for your cauldron. So these are which ingredients are accepted by the cauldron and the base potion resulting from them. So a recipe that I like that we made is the red apple cider. So pretty much what this format is, you know, we got the name of it, which is the red apple cider. We have the name written out along with the ingredients. So here we have three apples, four sugars, and one golden apple. So these are the ingredients that you're going to throw into the cauldron to produce the potion after a set amount of time. We can go down and search again for our recipes. So here are all the recipes in full. We can go down for red apple cider. And as you guys can see here, uh, this is pretty much the same thing except it's expanded now. You're going to need the cauldron section filled out and the recipes filled out for it to work properly. So here we got red apple cider, the ingredients once again. This is the cooking time, so this is how long you're going to leave it in the um, cauldron. The distill runs, two distill runs along with the distill time. Wood is going to be what type of barrel you're going to use to age it in. Age is measured in years. Difficulty is whatever difficulty you want to set it to. And alcohol is what percentage of alcohol you want it to be set to. So in this case, it is 20%. So yeah, that's the format for setting up new drinks in the brewery config. Well guys, that concludes my tutorial on the brewery plugin. I'll leave a link to download this plugin down in the description below. Also, I'm running this plugin on my Minecraft server Barbercraft, which I'll also be leaving down in the description below. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorial videos. Thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.